Good morning, everyone. We are continuing here in the Orchis Yosher, in the letter Dalit, which means Dan Lechav Zuchos, judging people favorably. And the rest of the chapter, more or less, of Chaim Kanievsky quotes several famous stories from Gemaras and Chazal that speak about the great mindless, the tremendous attributes of a person who judges another person favorably. The stories are quite long, so I'm going to go through it both, mostly in English over here to save ourselves time. So the Gemara tells over the following Maisa. There was once a man from the Upper Galilee, and he was employed by a certain homeowner and who lived in the South, and he was there working for three years. At the end of the three years, it was Erev Yom Kippur, and the worker told his employee, told him the following, Tainli schari, give me my wages, ishti uvanai, and I will go, and I will take the money, and I will feed my wife and my children. Remember, this man was not home for three years. So so the owner of the land told him, Ainli ma'ais, I'm sorry, I don't have any money. So Amalai, Tainli Paris, so fine. He said, you know what, you don't have money, so give me Paris, give me fruits, give me the produce instead. On my loy, the owner said, Ainly, I don't have any of that. So, Tainly Karka? So, he says, So, give me land. If you don't have anything, just give me the land. Ainly, he told him he doesn't have anything. Tainly Behema, he said, So, then give me an animal or animals to pay my wages. Ainly, I don't have animals either. Tainly Karmuk Sasais. So, fine. So, give me pillows and cushions, something that you have that's worth money. Give it to me so I can take it home and feed my wife. Ainly. Don't have any. So, if she'll Caleb la'achorav. So now, unfortunately, this man was not able to get his wages. He threw his belongings over his shoulder. nefesh, and he went home completely dejected. Now, after Sukkot, which comes, as we know, shortly after Yom Kippur, because this story took place on Erev Yom Kippur. So, after Sukkot, which was not so long, not so long, maybe about 20 days afterwards. So what happened? So the employer, who originally couldn't pay anything, he came to find his worker, and he came with the wages in his hand, and he also had three donkey loads full of goods. One was filled with food, one had drink, and one had other delicacies that were on there. And after they ate and they drank, he paid the worker his wages. And then he told the he asked the worker the following. When you said give me my wages, and I said Ainli Kesef, I don't have any noise, I have no money. So he asked him the following What did you suspect me of? What did you think was the reason why I wasn't able to pay you? So the worker said, I said to myself, maybe my own, my master, my work, my employee had a, a purchase the opportunity to purchase some merchandise at a low price, and you bought it with the money that you were supposed to give me? Then the employer said back, and what if, what happened when you said, so give me a behema, give me animals, and I said, I don't have any animals. What did you suspect me of? And the worker said, I said, maybe he rented his animals to other people. And then you asked, you said to me, give me the land. And I said, I have no land either. What do you suspect me of then? So the worker said, I said to myself that perhaps the land was leased to others. And then the employee said, and when I said I have no produce, what did you sus- suspect me of then? So the worker said, I said to myself, perhaps you could not give it to me because it wasn't tithed. You know, you have to take Meiser, Trumas and Meiser wasn't there. And then I said, I have no pillows or cushions. What did you suspect me of? I thought to myself, maybe my employer was... Makdish, he consecrated all of his belongings to Hashem. Listen what the employer answers here. And he says, Kach haya. That's exactly, he says, I, 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 I swear, Kach haya, you're 100% right. I have a son named Horkanus, and he wasn't learning Torah. And I dedicated everything I have to Shemaim. And when I came to the to my friends in the south, 
they annulled all of my vow. The Atta Geshev Shedadantin Leschus, and now this is the main thing that Rav Chaim Kanevsky wants us to hear. Geshev Shedantani Leschus, just like you judge me favorably. Hamokayim Yodin Oischa Leschus, Hashem should judge you favorably as well. And here you have a man who worked three long, honest years, and he deserved to get paid, certainly. And everything that he asked for, his employer told him, I can't take care of you. This man doesn't have a right to be upset, to be disappointed, to say to himself, what kind of employer is he? doesn't have money to pay? No. He judged every single step of the way favorably, and therefore he got a tremendous brach in the end. And that is just as a sh- you judge others favorably. May HaKadosh Baruch Hu judge you favorably as well. So wishing you all a day where you can continue to look upon others and judge them favorably so that Hashem Himself, Yadin Oyschal Deschus, Hashem will judge you favorably as well. Have a wonderful day.